Next into the tank, a young entrepreneur who prefers to think inside the box. Hi everyone, my name is Kath Perkis and I'm the CEO and founder of HerFashionBox.com and today I'm here to raise $200,000 for 12% equity in my company. So we're a fashion and beauty box which ships globally. We sell our boxes for $39.95 a month and we effectively do a fashion and beauty box. So we take on-trend fashion accessories paired with the beautiful beauty products and a mini magazine delivering happiness and Christmas every month to all these women around the world. Women sign up with 20 questions, their age, their hair colour, their skin colour, and it means that all of our boxes are actually catered to them. So we have this style profile beyond an email address, which traditionally you'd have in online retail. The HFB has now been going for two and a half years. We've shipped over 25,000 boxes and I've made some special boxes for the sharks today. Oh, fantastic. Ooh, great. Excellent. This is Janine. You always get yours first. Thank you. As I should too. <laughs> so, Glenn, this is your hair fashion box. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. We don't have a men's box, but I have bought the domain names. And Steve. Wow. That's cool. Fishing Lewis and Jim Beam made it. Actually, his fishingbox.com. There you go. <laughs> Who knows? I've got hand care wash. Yes, you need that. Thanks. So when you open the boxes, you'll see obviously the fashion accessories. So we manufacture all of these in China every month. And then the beauty products are beauty brands from Australia who gift to us, so we don't buy them. But it's like a highly targeted marketing campaign for these beautiful beauty brands. So Kath, how much was my box? Landed in Australia with Australia Post shipping locally, it's $20. So you've turned over about half a million dollars so far then? 420,000 last year, and 20% is already from America. 420K last one inch year, is that right? Yeah, last year. What are you projecting this one, mate? Hopefully 800. Kath, what's your profit for the year? Uh, last year it was 120,000. And does that, does that include your salary or not? No, once we add salaries, we're still not making a profit. We're nowhere near making a profit. So you're probably looking at negative net revenue for, for a couple yeah, of years. Yeah, until we hit a point where we break even, which is obviously you know, quite important, we need to keep when growing. When is break even? Uh, it's at 2,000 boxes at the moment, but with capital raise, it'll be 4,000 boxes. Do you have other investors? Uh, we do, we've got investors. Right, okay, yeah. so how, how much have others invested? Uh, so we've raised two rounds of capital. So 250 each for each capital You've raised 500k, that makes total. a lot more sense. Yes. And so what, what do you own, mate? Uh, so I'm currently on 51%. What was your last capital raising you've done at? Uh, 250 at uh, 2.5. I was going to say, so this is a down round for your last investment. This is a special Shark Tank one, yeah. So you value the sharks? Absolutely. I want to scale this and I know my business, I know my investors right. and they back me. So you're planning to make 800,000 in turnover? Absolutely. I'm... What would stop you getting that? Marketing dollars. <laughs> I just need to market this business properly. How many subscribers will you think you'll need to convert? We want to get to 6,000 subscribers in the next two years. And with your experience of two and a half years in this business, what's the retention rate on those 6,000? Everyone stays for six months. Do you know the cost per customer? Our CPA is $35 at the moment. So that means it takes two months to get a return on your cost of acquisition? That's right. So that means you get four months profit, which is $80, which then goes to pay for the rest of the business. Exactly. This is no broken wing business. You've got a, a lot of traction. You've gone a long way. You've got a plan to raise more money and you've actually left yourself with a sizable chunk of the company. But I think subscription boxes are the next group buying. I, I don't understand how that can be a long-term business. You have done fantastically. I'm looking forward to be proven wrong. So good luck, mate, but I'm out. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Steve. Hi, guys. I absolutely applaud what you've done. And clearly you see the value of sharks because you've discounted your valuation based on what we would bring to the market. 
My biggest concern about your business is your churn rate. Yes. And that is because people only stay for six months. And the return on what it's costing you to get and the spend, the numbers aren't yet falling out for me as an investment. I'm sure I'll see you around and I'm sure I'll be a great advocate, but it's not a business for me. I'm out. Thank you. You are an incredibly impressive businesswoman. It's rare to find someone pitching on the Shark Tank that absolutely nailed every answer. So you've got a very, very good business head on you. Um, I guess the part I'm struggling with is the area that you're playing. You know, this fast fashion, I agree with you. It's reinventing yourself on a regular basis. In terms of how much value I add, probably not a lot. So Kath, I'm out. Kath, you're a smart young lady, and I think you are going to make money. I don't think your model is quite right yet, and mm. I think you know that. Probably yeah. why you're here for some answers. You like a lot of businesses, close, but not close enough. However, I, I think you're worth backing. Holy crap. Perkis is hoping for a $200,000 investment for 12% of a business called Her Fashion Box. But with three already out, she's fast running out of sharks to do a deal with. Uh, I think you're worth backing. And it's going to be subject to get, you've got to be on a plane within one month to the United States. I've got to have you in a room with my daughter, who's a celebrity stylist. Holy crap. And she's going to have a very smart lady who's an expert in online marketing coming down from Seattle. You're going to be in a room with those ladies. And after that meeting, and subject to us tweaking your model, yeah. I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to make you an offer of 200000 at 15%. Yep. Fantastic. Oh, I'm about to cry. Well, <laughs> Holy crap. we got but I'm talk to Janine. Janine has to go yet. Yeah. Oh my and god. And I get to keep the glasses. It's yours. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> oh my god. My two lists, right? So on the negative, I've got six months opt out, no profit, long way to go. Is it a novelty that people think it's a good idea for a few months and then go, oh, bit over it? Model's not quite right. So they're my sort of negatives. Yeah. Positives, I've written Kath. <laughs> and, Kath. <laughs> and that's a big positive, right? But does it outweigh all of these other negatives? And I'm trying to balance it out. Um, Team up with Andrew. I think you'd make a good combination, an Australian mentor and an American base. Look, the, the reality, I, I've spoken to um, Andrew's daughter and she's a gun, she's amazing and, um, and very connected in this space. Um, look, I, I'll put an offer forward. It is 200,000 for 20%, but I do want to share it with Andrew if Andrew would take me. Um, and I can look after you in Australia, and then um, we can really drive the US. So we get 10% each. Yeah, but my offer isn't probably on my own on this one, so it's either with Andrew or I'm out. Yeah. OK. Kath, you came in wanting 200,000 for 12%, and you've got a shark offering you 200,000 for 15% with subject to meeting with his daughter, and another shark who's offering you 200,000 for 20 per cent and wants Andrew along as well. Yeah. I'm thinking that's pretty greedy on their behalf. It's all very well for someone who doesn't write a cheque to give you some advice. The reality is, though, the business is not making money. Not yet, no. You know, I, I think Glenn is way out of line and I think that he's way off board and I think it's very sad if he talks you out of a deal because I think that the value that we can get with our infrastructure and having a mentor that has a vested interest in the business. Janine, I want you as an investor, so is there a way that we can make it work for 16% for 200 between both yourself and Andrew? 
because I really would love you on board and I think you're fabulous. I think she's worth the investment. Done. Hey. Hey. Oh Let's God. do it. Let's take on the world. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm about Hell to cry. Yeah. Well done, Kat. Well done. Thank you, you so much. Take Thank care. You. Well done, Thank Kat. Thank you. Bye, guys. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm happy. We're going to rock and roll with this. I think it's going to be good. Dad? Oh my gosh. I actually am in shock. First into the tank tonight, a stonemason who wants a shark to help him build an empire. Hi Sharks, my name's Joel Norford, founder of Pentablock. And I'm here today requesting a $350,000 investment for 10% equity of my company, Pentablock. Pentablock is a unique interlocking construction block process which features a patented, no mortar, simple, easy and considerably time-saving construction process. Pentablock can be used in all applications in the commercial, civil and residential construction industries, such as retaining walls, feature walls, structural load-bearing walls, fences, columns, pillars, swimming pools, basically anywhere where traditional masonry block and brick construction and alternate methods are being used. Pentablock provides many advantages over these methods. A stonemason would do on average about one and a half to two square metres a day. Mm -hmm. One of my guys can do 50 square metres per day. We're stronger, we're faster and we're cheaper. They're the fundamental points of our system. So right now I'm going to get my two boys, Brenton and Jake, to do a demonstration for you. And I'm going to get a brochure to give you guys so you can have a little look at that while they're doing a the build. OK, Joel, well, that was 350,000 big ones. Yes. For 10%. So you're valuing your company at a modest $3.5 million. That's correct. Just checking. Just checking. Seems like a lot. So simply, it's a, just a tongue and groove system, which is we call the tongue and groove the top section of the block, and then the groove on the bottom, and they simply stack together like that. So the material is the block. It's not cladded. It's the material, it's not the cladded block. We construct the block first. This is the first process of our manufacturing. We build a block like this. Yes. And then we laminate a beautiful, timeless natural stone onto the block. Or anything. Or anything, exactly. So we're providing a one very quick and simple process just like that. So we're eliminating a substantial amount of the labour. So you'd fill those up with cement? Of course. So it's freestanding now. So anything over three blocks high, which is somewhere around here, you're forced. And we like to hear that people call fill it with concrete because it lasts forever. But your product is aimed at traditional builders just to speed it up cheaper, faster. Exactly. With structural walling, we've actually got 25% more bearing capacity. So we're 25% stronger than traditional blocks and bricks. Joel, I'm a serial renovator and builder, so I have seen nearly every single scenario of stone and mason and cladding and non-cladding. The thing I'm confused about is if I wanted a cream look or a look that you didn't supply mm -hmm. the stone cladding, yes. uh, how do I get that? Well, we encourage clients to specify a material, and in that case, we will then laminate the material onto this block system for you and then you would buy the product from us and get you yourself could do it or you could employ some tradespeople to, to lay the product for you. Uh, you've been in business two years. Can you go through some of the financials of your, uh, your operation? Um, our first financial year was last year and we recorded sales of $174,000, returning a profit of around $91,000, $92,000. This year we were projecting a sales of $750,000 and we're on target at this stage. We're currently sitting at about $320,000 with constant growth. So we're still only working in our local area. So Joel, what do you think your business model looks like in two years? My intention is working my backyard first. So that this next 12 months, focus on Victoria. The Victoria market's around 400 million. So I'd like to capture, you know, one or 2% of that in the next couple of years and then carry around Australia. So our third year projection is around 3 million. So that again, that uh, three times uh, growth, 300% growth. 
and then again nine million the following year. Now that's with enlarging uh, marketing uh, spends and obviously a little bit of help along the way. But what are your competitors in this space, mate? We've got no competitors with a well, system. Well, you do. Surely. There's Besser, is it called Besser Blocks? Besser Blocks, yes. That's a product, yeah. They're sort of, aren't they hollow as well and... Correct, yes. It, so couldn't someone sort of do a similar thing with a Besser Block? Um, not really, because it's, they've got to then get a bricklayer and lay mortar. Right, OK. Did you come up with this idea or did you buy it from somewhere else and you the distributor? I actually found an abandoned building in Vietnam that was there and with trees and stuff going over it. Seen the, this and I, the next year I went back for more business and then I was like, there's nothing going here. I got a block, seen what it was. I was like, I was going to do something about this. Um, patented it and basically claimed it. Did you just say that you saw this product in Vietnam? Yes. In an abandoned factory? Yes. And then you patented it? Yes. I'm, uh, I'm actually significantly concerned about your patents. Joel Norford is looking for a solid foundation for his building block business, Pentablock. But our sharks are concerned about the originality of the product. Did you just say that you saw this product in Vietnam? Yes. In an abandoned factory? Yes. And then you patented it? Yes. It was an abandoned factory, yes. Um, and I brought the stone application to it. So I th landscape stonemason. So your value add is that you saw something that was there, but you've also put the tiles and or you can put the granite. So you, you took something that was there, but you added an idea to it. Correct, yeah. yeah. And I've got a patent granted. Where? Australia. And I've got the paperwork in place for America. It's better. So, so Joel, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you know how I'm feeling. I'm, uh, I'm actually significantly concerned about your patents. So on, on that basis, I'll jump out. OK, no worries. Thank you. Thank you. Joel, I really love your product. It's, um, it's fabulous. I think you've done a really good job. Thank you. So I look forward to being a customer. Thank you. But I'm not going to be invested today. Thank you. Thank you. You don't really need cash. Um, I, I would go for the license to deal, but it's not really my kind of thing. I, I'm, I'm not as passionate about stone well, as you are, although I can admire it. No, no, I think you've done 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 well. Thank you. Uh, but you know, I think there's a few issues around scale. So as an investor, I'm out, but I wish you luck. Thank you. Thank you. And then there were just two. I am concerned about your valuation. I've taken your profit, which I've estimated at about 200k for this financial year we're in right now. Yes. And you're after 3.5 million, which is nearly 18, 19 times that. But I see your product has a great position in the marketplace. So, I, look, I, I'm, I'm sitting at 350k for 33%. I think that's not valuing the, the, the licensing potential, the, the global potential. All right, so what's your counter offer to them? Well, my limit today was 20% of my company. Look, I'm going to put an offer to you, um, which I think would work for the valuation of where the business is now. Because it's all very well saying you're going to triple the business every two years, which is, is fanciful. Right, it, 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 it really unlikely happens, can happen, but particularly in this industry, really highly unlikely. I'll give you $350,000 split into $150,000 in equity. For how much? 17%. 17%. And $200,000, we'll call it a loan, but it'll be paid off in two years. So, Joel, what's on offer from Janine here is $150,000 cash for 17% equity and then a $200,000 loan. 
or you can do $350,000 for 33% with Glenn. So commercial terms of loan over two years, yep. not three, has to be two years. Look, the thing is, if, if we've got great growth, I'm mm -hmm. not going to be going, right, OK, where's my return? But there has to be some sort of, like any business, it has to have a capacity to be able to pay its loans. Yes, yes, of course. But I'm, I'm going to be a partner in the business. 17. Well, that's much more attractive. That's under my 20%. Well, I'd like to welcome to Pentablock. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Is that like I've been rejected? Well done, mate. Thank you. And yeah. I'd, I'd like to hear from you. I'm in the States. Oh, good Thank you. Thank good you. Good luck. Sorry, mate. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Joel. Thank you. Well done. He's going to get to five or six million very quickly. It is a great product. You're going to get your money back. Yeah, That's I a good so. deal. <sighs> Next into the tank is Elisa, who's designed a bag that she thinks will pack a punch for every woman of a certain age. I believe my product is absolutely awesome. There's nothing else out there like it. Hello, sharks. My name's Elisa Scott, and I'm the tea lady. And this is my creation, Menopause Tea Hot Flash Tea. Each tea bag consists of five recommended herbs for menopause. They are black cohosh, wild yam, withalanian Indian ginseng, skull cap, and red clover. Best consumed 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. by seven days a week. There's 10 individual tea bags in a box, and you can use them twice. It comes in Egyptian-style tea bag, which is nice and private for women that work in a male-dominated area. I've got a testimonial from Tracy that I'd like to share with you. Can't recommend this tea highly enough. I was hot flushing for 12 months, came across the tea, drank it twice a day, and on the fifth day, it stopped. It cost me $4.44 to make. I sell it on the internet for $20 plus $3.50 postage, $35 for overseas purchases, and sell it to IGA and Food Works for $6.99. They sell it for $9.99. So, Sharks, I'm seeking investment of $20,000 for 10% stake in my business. This will be used for distribution as I've just signed the contracts for IGA and Food Works Australia wide. I hope you can see potential in this investment so we can saturate the world one tea bag at a time. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I think that takes the record for the fastest pitch on Shark Tank. Well done. You are on a roll. Can you start that whole thing again? Because I missed it. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> slow it out. I'm going all the way, guys. Yeah. World domination for women, so they've got a natural alternative in a chemically <laughs> driven world. I love it. I love it. Love the enthusiasm. So we better try your tea then, haven't we? I would love you to try my tea. It's just like a herbal tea. Yes, yes. So where did the idea come from? This came for a dream. Oh, keep telling us this. What dream was that? I was like, wow, how awesome would it be to bring out a tea bag mm. for a woman with the five herbs for menopause? And that's what I, the dream told me to do. I went to the laptop, and this is the dream. Why, why can't it, men drink it? It tastes all right. What, what will it do for me? Well, a lot of women have been giving their cranky husbands a cup of tea. <laughs> Come on, look at me. <laughs> Can you put it in a beer bottle? He'll never notice the difference. <laughs> so what are your sales to date? OK, so I've sold 846 boxes. I've made $10,275, and it cost me 6754 to make, so the profit's 3521 <laughs> This woman has clearly run a business before. Oh, mm. Well, she likes numbers, that's for sure. Yeah. I like that. That's good. That's a good indicator. What sort of forecast are you looking at? OK, the future is year one. I project uh, 82,000. Second year is 1.2 million. And All the right, third right, year right. is 2.8. And that's projected on increased number of stores by 33%. And that's just IGA and food works. That's not the world domination as well. And Steve, IT is one of my weaknesses, and to get the sales generated where the biggest markup is on the internet, you have the knowledge. And you know what? I want to be someone's success story here. Right. So you've just done 10K to 80, 
2 car, I think it's fantastic. It shows really good growth. To $1.2 million is you need to have some of your own tea. How do you know this actually works? It hasn't been scientifically tested. However, the five recommended herbs that are in each tea bag have been around for centuries. And the testimonials on my website that I'm getting from women worldwide are just brilliant. I'm so happy. Yeah. So the claim from that testimonial you read out from Tracy, yes. are you claiming after five days she's cured of whatever symptoms? Yes. I'm really disturbed about your lack of science in all of this. If you'd said to me, this is supporting the symptoms, I could have gone along with the, the, the fairy tale. Um, I can only go with what the feedback is on the sales. I know that, they're testimonials. Get Doctor. some science behind your product. Okay, that's fair enough. And I like the way you speak, which is nice and blunt and straightforward. But the cure in five days, I'm just sitting here being really nice before I carve you up for making okay. claims on national TV about a product that I yeah. think is a complete and utter waste of time and you're making claims that are bullshit. You're not giving me any facts other than a bunch of testimonials that were probably friends of yours that wrote them. So unfortunately, oh, I'm out. Why can't you say I'm that, out. Glenn? They're not my friends. I'm you're so out. cute. That's all right. <laughs> you acknowledge Chinese medicine. It's 4,000 years of history. Yes, exactly. And we all know that Chinese medicine has huge merit. Look, good on you. You've You've Thank you. seen an opportunity. I mean, I, I agree. There's half a million Australian women who clearly have a challenge with menopause. Uh, I think the caution about not making claims is a wise one, and it's really about brand and getting out there. It's just very early for me, and it's, it's kind of a bit niche. But I'm out. Thank you, Andrew. 50% of the population's not niche. Women who are going through menopause do become really quite desperate. Oh, they remember their old selves. They want to be in their future self. They end up grumpy. Sleepless nights. Irrational. I've had husbands call me saying thank you I for get my wife I'm really back. upset when I get interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I don't know where she is. <laughs> All right, just, uh, just let her go. Just let and her for go. women in leadership positions in boardrooms and so forth, it can be really quite debilitating. My concern is about the promise. These are individual claims yes. rather than a scientific, broad-based research study. We actually don't know. Like, you don't know whether it's cause is. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you so much for being so nice. Thank you. If this product truly does what you say it is, you will be a billionaire. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. So I'm going to make you an offer. So, Lisa, what, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking an option on your success. It's a straight financial. I'm going to toss you a coin, and hopefully, hopefully we'll have two and a half of those coins come back in two years' time. So I'll invest the 20000 bucks right now for 30%. And I need, within inside of two years, a $50,000 return. Lisa, um, I'm going to make you an offer. Thank you, Janine. Good. I'm a firm believer that people should use food as medicine more than medicine. My offer is subject to you doing research on 300 people. Yes! Awesome! And the results of that research. So my offer is... I'll give you the 20 grand, but 10% is not enough. So it'll be $20,000 for 20%. Would you like to join together? Um. But are you good friends with Janine? It's not about friendship. It's actually not about friendship. It's not about friendship at all. It's about who you can trust. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Steve, I had visions of you and I together for the internet but you only want to do a financial investment. I want you to sit back and watch Janine and I ride 
off to the University for Women there you go. worldwide. Hey, well done. Thank you, Ellie. Well yeah, thank That's you. It's so exciting. nice to meet you. You too. Yes. Exciting. Also, thank you. Your power. Exactly. Hey. Yes, but. Bye, well, Lisa. Well done. Well done. Bye. Really well well done. done. I'm really thrilled and thank you so much for having me. This has been a dream come true. Woohoo! Oh, yeah.